Hi, my name is Denise Getz and I have been in your genealogy class and I would like to share um, some of the amazing experiences that I've had while being in this class. Just so know, you just to, to note that I've already been very motivated to do um, family history research in the last 20 years I, or, or more I've been trying to do family history and um, one thing that I have learned in this class is that you really should focus on one line at a time and not just kind of do one line and then skip to the next one and so all at once and I found that that is um, the best thing because you just get a lot more done that way I don't know why but it just seems to work out a lot better but um, anyways I was for one of the assignments um, I had contacted my husband's um, aunt. She lives down in Florida, and she was kind enough to give me or relate some stories and history of their family, and I recorded that as a memory. And I was thinking, hey, the tickets to Florida are pretty cheap. Maybe my daughter and I should go down to Florida and, and see um, my husband's aunt and um, maybe take um, – scan pictures and take more memories and and do what we can do down there and so I was really planning on doing that and my daughter kept on asking me mom are you sure we should do this and by the third time she asked me uh, which wasn't in the same day of course it was over a course of time and I I said you know what I should really pray about this and so I did and I just didn't feel like I should go and so um I closed out all the browsers tabs on my computer for flights and everything else. And um, not even two hours later, I get a notice from Facebook talking about a genealogy conference that's directly for Greek history. And so I, I decided to pray about that. And I knew I had to go to this, um, this, genealogy conference and I went there and I met the most amazing people there as far as uh, learning the history and and they gave you know I got some tools to understand um, some of that history and how hard it is to find it and I've tried many times over the years even had specialists try and help me for my Greek history and it's just without success um, because of the history of what happened between Turkey and Greece, the, um, and Greece and the Greek people there. So um, as a result, I went home. This was very motivating, this conference, and I learned a lot. And as a result, I went home and just did more and more research and started um, kind of searching around the computer um, as much as I could. And I found that I have living um, relatives in in California, living in California. And so um, I decided to go visit them because one of them is very old. And here is my daughter, Julia, who went with me. And this is, um, she doesn't look like she's 86. She looks amazing and she is amazing. Her name's Ephemia and she is a beautiful person. And she's the last living um, person or, from my Greek line, less living relative that I know from my Greek line that knows what happened um, in, in Turkey and in Greece and knows the people and, and knows the stories. And so I wasn't going to take a chance. And so I went out there and here I am in the pink sweater. And this is her daughter, Donia, um, Ephemia's daughter. And so it was just the most awesome thing. The people, they're just amazing people, very, very sweet, and um, just had the greatest time. And so I was able to connect with them and learn the stories. And this is Bethlehem, my grandmother, who died very young with tuberculosis. And um, my grandfather, and this is Bethlehem's um, brother Jordan and this is both of their father their father Kiprianos so it was just an incredible time to learn so many stories that are just so motivating and so incredible I can't even tell you and I hope that I can continue um, if God willing that FMEA stays 
stays healthy enough that I can learn more and um, possibly visit them again. Um, plus, I've reconnected with um, that part of the family, which is incredible in itself. So what is the favorite aspect of family history for me? I love beginning to or get, getting to know what their the um, people's lives, my ancestors' lives were like. Um, how to you know what things did they go through? What did they endure um, that I might have this life that I have? Um, we stand upon the shoulders of those that come before us, and um, what did they go through that I might be an American and live these freedoms and and have the opportunities that I have? And um, we can never forget them, and we should teach our children through the generations. And the other aspect I think about it is, is how can I live my life that I can honor my ancestors? And I will never, you know, we should never forget that um, even though they're dead, they're watching over us. I am certain that they pray and they try and do what they can to, to help us in our life. And um, so I, it is very important to me to think about um, how can I, what can I do to honor them? And um, their, both their memory and what can I do for them. So I am really grateful for this class. I've learned so much, so many tools, and I will continue and work extremely hard because I care so much. And um, I hope um, you have, I, I can't wait to hear what you guys all have to say as far as um, what your favorite things are and such. And I wish you all a Merry Christmas.